Now I would call upon Gavalier Sachit for his P1 humor humorously speaking and me the evaluator. I would now say the uh, uh, objectives for P1 humorously speaking. Warm up your audience. Objectives. Prepare a speech that opens with a humorous story. Personal, personalize the story. De deliver the story smoothly and effectively. effectively. Time, five to seven mi minutes. Over to you, Gavalier Sachit. Good luck. Hi, dear Gavaliers and respected Venu sir. Today, I will be telling you a story about Abara, uh, about how Abara observed sin. Once upon a time, there was a man named Abara. He was someone foolish. He had not gone to school and wasn't well educated. He would spend his full day at the bridge fishing for fish. On the other hand, his wife was well edu was somewhat educated. He would go to the temple every full moon day to observe sil. Sil is a type of meditation done in Sri Lanka. Uh, there are five precepts recited by a monk and the others simply repeated at the sermon hall. One day, Abra's wife fell sick. So she decided to send Abara for a change, as he had never gone to a temple before. Dear Abara, can you please go to the temple to observe some sil? Abara's wife said. Uh, uh, Abara replied, Oh no, I can't. Why not? asked Abara's wife. Because I have never been at a temple. And I don't know how to observe sin. Oh, it is so easy. You just repeat what the monk says. Is that so? Asked Abra. Yes, it is. Now, if you can please go to the temple to observe some sin. <clears throat> Abra got himself ready with white, white clothes and went to the temple. Abra was quite shy, so he hid behind a pillar at the temple. The monk saw something, so he asked, Who is that? Abra, remembering what his wife had said, replied, Who is that? The monk asked him, Are you mad? Abra replied the same thing, Are you mad? The, the, the monk went up to the pillar and saw Abara st st uh, standing there. He asked, Oh, it's you, Abara. What are you doing here? Abara replied, Oh, it's you, Abara. What are you doing here? The monk lost his patience. He pulled him to the sermon hall and shouted, Drive this madman away. Uh, Abara Abra replied, Abra, uh, Abra never lost, uh, lost confidence and replied, drive this madman away. Hearing this commotion at the sermon hall, so one person uh, took, uh, took a wood stick, uh, stick of wood and hit him on the back, which made Abra running back home. Abra's wife saw Abra running back home and she asked, what happened? Abara said, I am never going to the temple to observe sin. I did what you wanted to do. To, uh, I did what you said of repeating what the monk said, but that didn't turn out well. Abara's wife knew what happened. After that, um, the moral of the story is, think twice before you do something. I hope you enjoyed my speech. Thank you. It was a really nice speech about Abra observing the Sith.